I have a shifter that is not able to get out of park and I'm, today I'm going to show you how to temporarily fix this and then permanently fix it uh, actually get to the root cause of the problem so here this is my 1999 uh, Toyota 4Runner and the only way I could get my shifter out of park is pressing this white tab here and I think most SUVs and trucks uh, have this uh, mechanism that if your shifter gets stuck you are able to press a tab or something to be able to move it back and forth. So once I got it out of park, I was able to move it in, diff in the different automatic gears. But on in my case, uh, the cruise control also started to stop working as well. So I pressed the button and the cruise would just flash on and off. And then it wouldn't work when I was driving as well. And then one more thing happened as well. Only the uh, daytime lights would run and the the brake lights wouldn't work I was thinking maybe it was a bulb at least in this case but when I pressed the brakes the brakes didn't didn't uh, actually didn't turn on so I'm thinking well what do all three of these things have in common but we're looking at this thing right here and it's called the brake light switch at this thing right here and it's called the brake light switch or or the brake switch now there's this little black uh, knob right here that when you press the brake it compresses in and out I was thinking, well, this probably has something to do with the cruise control, the backup lights. And I was thinking, well, this probably has something to do with the cruise control, the backup lights, and the shifting all at one time. Because when you press the brake, all these things need to be able to uh, work off of this brake switch. So I said, well, let's go ahead and just change this brake switch. It's an easy, uh, cheap part, about $20. And here it is. It's a simple mechanism, uh, a simple fix. It just has an electrical connector as well as a nut that you have to screw on and off. So I went back underneath the dash and I removed the electrical connector off of the old brake switch, moved it to the side, and then had to take off this nut right here. I uh, just matched it up, made sure it was the same length and everything and it looked like it was so I thought I was good to go right so I cracked the nut off and then spun it off by hand and then you simply just twist the brake switch out of the housing and then there you go and then I compared my brake switch made sure that it was the same uh, style electrical connection as well as the length as well the only difference I saw was the color and I didn't think this was going to matter. So I took the new brake switch and then I put it back in. And I made sure that the travel distance was able to compress the little white knob at the top. I went ahead and screwed it all the way in that I could. Took my wrench and tightened up the nut. And then I attached my electrical connector. Once I felt that everything was in place and tight, I went ahead and tried to shift and the shifter didn't work. So after a little bit of research online, I was noticing that there was two different style of brake switches, and I was wondering why mine was a different color. So I went and got one that was under the conditions of adaptive cruise control. I think the one that I got was without cruise control, so I'm thinking that the electrical system didn't recognize it. So I went and got a new brake switch that matched in color, and I attached it up, attached an electrical connector, screwed it in, tightened down the nut, and then again I tried to shift my knob and it again didn't shift. So after this point I was getting a little bit frustrated. I was thinking well maybe it's a new electrical component, maybe I have to detach the battery for a couple minutes, put it back on, and then try it again. And again the shifter didn't work. So at this point I'm getting pretty frustrated. I had I, I had actually had somebody already checked the fuses so I went ahead and checked them again myself I went online found a fuse diagram and I found the fuse that actually connected all three of those pieces that were broken and I found that the fuse was actually broken so if you remember it was my cruise control my shifter knob and my brake lights this fuse had in common all three of those things so I went out and got a new pack of fuses went ahead and put a new fuse in, pushed it in, made sure it was snug, and then I put the cover plate back on, and then wouldn't you know, it shifted without having to press the white tab. 
I just wanted to double check everything, make sure everything worked. The cruise control was no longer flashing, and since then I've been able to drive with cruise, and then all three of the brake lights worked again. So there you go, a simple fix to be able to get your shifter knob unstuck. Now I want you to go down into the comments and let me know if there's anything else that along with your shifter knob has stopped working in your car. Now here in this 1999 Toyota 4Runner we had the cruise control and the brake lights go out as well. So if your shifter knob is stuck you might have some other things broken that you want to check out as well. And then look online a fuse diagram to be able to know what else is connected to the same circuit as your shifter knob. Find that fuse, replace it, and then you should be good to go. This is Auto Odometer. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and thanks for watching.